everybody, I'm Todd McFarlane, and you're watching the Venom Vlog. 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 The Venom Vlog with Seek, my man. Make sure you catch up with Big Bad Seek here. Hey, pronounce my man's name right before I unleash some carnage on that ass. Nicely done, Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we have screening reactions. So this is not going to be reviews. As far as I know, there's no spoilers in this, uh, other than the mention of something we talked about two episodes ago. Um, but uh, other than that, this is just going to be me reading people's tweets. These were sent to me by our friend Jason. So Jason, thank you so much. I hope you're feeling well, buddy. I actually saw a while ago on Instagram you weren't doing too well. Uh, so I hope everything's going well. I hope you're recovering. I hope everyone in, uh, in and around your orbit and in your world, I hope they're all doing well too. And I hope all of you guys are doing well, uh, guys and gals who watch the show. Um, I, I really hope you all are doing well because we're so close now to this movie. I want us all going in you know, healthy, excited, ready, pumped. And I know some of you won't be going to theaters to see this movie because of health reasons and things like that or just being cautious. I completely understand that too. Uh, like I said in a previous video, I will try to wait a while before we get into spoilers on this channel. I'll do my best. Um, and But if I do talk about spoilers, I'll heavily mark it in the videos so you know to either skip those videos or not watch them until after you see the movie whenever you do. So I'm going to try to be very respectful and then I'm also going to try to keep an eye on the comments to make sure people aren't posting things about you know what they see on Reddit or rumors or any of that garbage uh, that you know might spoil the movie for you. Um, I don't want any of that to happen. I want us to all go in and have that same level of excitement that these fans got to have and get the same surprises that these fans got to have because that's how movies should be made. We shouldn't be ruining each other's experiences when it comes to things that we love so much. Um, that's just no way to live, in my opinion, to ruin someone else's when they're when they're on cloud nine. Like, let them be on cloud nine. Everyone should have their time on cloud nine. <laughs> so, uh, so here we have from also from the official Venom movie Instagram account. They post these too, but again, I want to shout out Jason because he's the one who sent me these first. Um, they posted the reaction. So some fans have already let their thoughts be known from the fans' first event in London that got to see this movie a whole month early before it comes out in London. So first we have, uh, I'll put them up on screen here, we have Neil, uh, he actually said, Venom, Let There Be Carnage is a frenzied mix of buddy movie, uh, romance, and horror. It wastes no time in getting down to business and not relent. Hardy is on fire and Harrelson is carnage. Also, do not miss the credits. So that was something we talked about two episodes ago. We didn't get into spoilers in that episode, so that's a safe episode to watch, uh, but there is a post-credit scene and apparently it is not to be missed and also not to be spoiled. So let's put on our Endgame hats. Uh, like after Endgame, when people went a good while before they started talking about spoilers, let's hope we can do that with Venom here because it sounds like it's a pretty big moment in the post credit scene. Um, then we have Ren here. Ren says, the biggest strength of Venom Let There Be Carnage is frantic pacing and exhilarating action matching the kinetic energy Tom Hardy has with himself. Woody Harrelson is rel uh, relishing as Cletus slash Carnage and it's perfect for the role, and oh my god, stay for the credits. <laughs> so you can see this excitement for that post credit scene already. It's pretty pretty intense. People are loving it. Um, we have Ready Cosplayer 1 here. She says, well, I can wholeheartedly say that Venom Let There Be Carnage was absolute carnage. I loved it so much. Thank you, Cineworld, for having us. Hashtag Carnage, hashtag Venom. And you can see the emojis and stuff they have on Twitter now, which I'm missing out on all that Twitter stuff because I'm not on Twitter anymore. But uh, I hope all of you guys are enjoying that, guys and gals. Um, they have some cool emoji stuff on Instagram too that I've been using sometimes, which is awesome. Um, then we have here from emotionally invested Tony Khan, Stan. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be among the first to finally get to see Venom Let There Be Carnage. I adored it. The first Venom is my favorite of the modern MCU films. And Venom makes all the smart next steps, telling a very human and very beautiful story for Eddie Brock. Um, interesting. Very beautiful story uh, for Eddie Brock. That's cool and human. Um, I'm curious what he says there. He said uh, favorite MCU films. I mean, I don't know if these are technically categorized by that, but I guess we'll have to wait and see uh, with what they do with this universe at some point. Um, then we have another one here from Aman Kellum. says, nah, in my whole life, I had never seen a whole movie theater react as loud as they did to the Venom 2 end credit scene. Sony delivered. Holy crap. His, the only tweet was how amazing that uh, had that scene was. They didn't talk about the rest of the movie. Just the fact that they've never seen an audience react like that, which is crazy. Hopefully you were in a theater when you saw Endgame because that had some big reactions. I remember actually having to cover my ear during Endgame because the crowd got so loud at one point. Um, but that's great. More, more pump, pumping up of this post-credit scene for sure. Um, Molly here says, Venom, fans first. 
absolutely buzzing from this film. It was so good, and it was honestly so amazing being able to see it a month early. Congratulations. You know, I got to see the first Venom movie uh, early as well, and I seen Spider-Verse early, and I, I, I know what that feels like. It's an awesome feeling, and, uh, and I'm glad you guys got to experience it. All of you who got to attend this, I'm so glad you got to experience that. And hopefully other people out there get to experience something like that at some point in your life uh, with something you love because it is a good feeling. It's a lot of fun to go to these things. All right, so here we have Yugo, uh, Yugo and Cosplay. Thank you, Sony Pictures and Andy Circus, for such a fun ride with Venom. All right, so that was his thoughts, just a fun ride, keeping it simple. Um, so that's good. And trying to, you know, not accidentally say anything, probably. That's how I would be in that case, for sure. Um, so Ready Cosplayer 1 again posted and said... Uh, guys, go and see this movie and thank them afterwards because they did an amazing job. Andy Circus, uh, Tom Hardy, my lips are sealed, uh, firmly sealed. Venom, hashtag carnage. That's cool. So j just, again, trying to keep their word, which I'm, I appreciate. All of you who are doing that, thank you so much for not being a D-bag and ruining for other people. <laughs> it's, it's good to know that uh, all other fandoms that get really toxic and nasty, us Venom, we should be the ones that to, you know, set the example to be to be better. Um so then we have here another one from Molly. Oh my God, this film was amazing. Keeping my promise to Tom Hardy though, you'll get no spoilers from me. All I can say is watch Venom in October. All right, so those are the first reactions. Those are the ones at least I got so far. There's probably more by now, but I'm not gonna you know go digging for them. I think this already kind of sums up pretty much what people are saying that came out of this event, which is they had a really great time and that we should really be excited for this post credit scene. So again, I don't want that spoiled. I don't want anything like that. If I see that happen on this channel, I'm gonna ban people. If you have information from Reddit, I'm gonna ban you. I don't care. We don't really do that here. We're not like, I'm not like other YouTubers. I, I like to go in on a, a level that the movie wants me to go in on, and I'd like my audience to go in uh, at that level as well, if they choose. Now, I know some of you out there uh, who do watch the show, you do like to get into spoilers, you do like to get information early and all that stuff. I'm all for you doing that. Just do it and keep it to yourself and try to respect the people on this channel. And even on October 1st, don't come to this channel and start posting spoilers because there are people that watch this show from around the world. We have, which I'm surprised about, like, hello, everyone around the world. But we have people in other countries and other regions that aren't going to get this movie until mid-October. Some of them might even get them a little later. So I'm going to try to be respectful and I ask that you all do the same thing for me here on this channel and try to be respectful. And let's try to respect Tom's words here uh, where he asked everyone to keep that promise of the post credit scene. And uh, I know for sure that I will, once I see the movie, I will keep that, you know, a close guarded secret and I'll wait a while before we openly talk about it. Even if other outlets and everyone are talking about it, I'm going to try really hard to wait as long as I can. And then when I finally do talk about it, I'll make sure I label spoilers all over it and I'll make sure my thumbnail has no hints as to what that scene contains. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.